Thanks, but uh, I wanted to read something tonight. I don't know if I've done it before at this meeting, but uh, it's a statement from Hoang Po. So when people hear the mind teaching, they get excited. They think there is something to be got. They then fervently engage in this or that practice, thinking that they will get something. Unfortunately, they do not see that their own mind and the thing they expect to find are one and the same thing. If you use your mind to try to get something from mind, you will never achieve anything ever, though you practice like this for billions of years. Wow. So, you know, it's funny when you ever listen to people you usually try to find things that agree with how you see it. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not difficult with Hoang Po. So basically it's, it's, it's what we're saying. You can't approach non-duality like you do everything else. If you approach non-duality, it's a disarming. It's, it stops you in your tracks because exactly that statement you basically can't use mind to find mind, yeah? And the implied uh, intention of that statement is that's probably exactly what's happening right now, yeah? There's a using of mind to find mind. Now that using of mind may be called Paul to find mind, but Paul is AKA mind, big M mind, yeah? So basically, the same thing in recovery. We have a statement, self can't get out of self. Now, many, many people are in that experience all day, but how it's interpreted is, is Paul can't get out, cannot get out of self because Paul isn't managing as well as he could. He hasn't done enough. He's got to find the right methodology. And then I'm, I'm pretty damn sure Paul can get out of self. But in this state, Paul is just like the other example, AKA mind is not going to, f you can't use mind to find mind. Well, you can't use self to get out of self. It doesn't work, yes? So the idea is there's something that's obscuring things or causing things to be very, very confusing because there's an act of being identified. Yeah, I'm not saying anyone is in that act of being identified, but the mental state is in the act of being identified as an image of us, yeah, as a thing that can be remembered, that can be projected into a future. It's remembered when you're worrying about yourself in the future. It's a remembering of this idea of being a thing. The memories re support the idea of you being a thing. The thoughts are all about you as a thing, a thing that has the attributions of doing, thinking, seeing, feeling, tasting, touching, smelling. All of those, all of those activities must be grounded and founded in me as the doer of. This is just the bondage of self. And uh, it fails us in so many ways and it will fail us once again in the idea of non-duality because you're not going to get it. Yeah, you're not going to understand it. You're not going to experience it because that would mean you were something other than it. And in this case, you're not. See, if I was, you know, wanted to find a pants, I could study about pants. I could uh, know about pants and maybe someone would point where I could find some pants. Yeah. And every other thing that I'm not, I could probably use the same M.O., and I'd arrive at getting a pair of pants. But you can't apply that same um, modality to what you are. And this is the dilemma because people do not believe they are what they're looking for. They don't. They, or they, would, they wouldn't have this giant urge to look for it. See, so there's a huge investment in the, in the being the looker for it. And that looker for it can rest assured there's no danger because it knows it ain't going to be found because it's what you are. So it can look and look and look. It can go Kabbalah. It can go fundamental Christian. It can go Buddhist. 
It can go fucking pagan. It can do whatever it wants, assured that it's never going to find what can't be lost. So it's got it's far out. Bring on the next modality. And if the modality doesn't work, I'll get the extreme version or the new radical version. But like we joke about here, you know, 2021, what's new in non-duality? Nothing. There's nothing new in it. It's just the same message. <laughs> you are not that which is looking for, but you are what's looking. Yes? But you're not that which is looking for, but you are what's looking. Yeah. So it's a trick. So I don't know what to say. It just goes around that same point. And that's the reason why hearing the message of non-duality has to come with some warnings because uh, in a way it's so beautiful. The idea of non-duality puts what you're not into stark contrast. For some reason or another, when you start hearing non-duality and have a modicum of understanding, you start seeing something that you used to look from. You start seeing the activity Maybe you just see it as the activity that supports Paul, but after a while you see there is no Paul, there's just an activity that implies Paul, yeah? But maybe first you see the activity and you still believe you're doing it and you feel guilty about that and you feel like I got to stop doing it, which just is more doing it. But it's going to lead to a realization that all that pointing you make the leap of being the moon. There's no moon in this example. There's just pointing, yeah? The pointing is, isn't to a moon. The pointing is, you already are a moon, yeah? See, this is the thing. With the idea of being Paul, it's not like you're in the act of becoming Paul. There's just, it's, the assumption is you have been Paul, you are Paul, and you're probably gonna be Paul. <laughs> so it's like a different, it's a different, uh, it's totally different because it assumes something that's so, that isn't so, yeah? So when, when the thing that's implying you is noticed, it's usually framed as a, you're the you that's noticing the implying of you. So the person calls me and says, oh, I understand your that term selfing, and I've been doing it all day. No, that's not it, you see. The feeling of being the doer of the selfing is the product of the selfing, yeah? So the, pro the selfing projects the product, and the product is presupposed before all the activity. So now it just sounds natural. I'm, I caught myself selfing today, or selfing has been driving me crazy. Those are both examples of the of the conveyor belt of selfing working in a way because that which was implied is now taken to be so yeah see it's tricky it's not that which is implied you're inevitably going to become no because you could probably opt out there it says that which is implied is already so and for some of us the discomfort in that basis drives us to fucking drink and to get loaded because there doesn't seem to be any other option. I can't stop becoming self. I can't, you know, get out of the contract that I'm going to be self because the fact is there's an assumption I am self and I'm always going to be self. Yeah, that that really limits the possibility. So this whole idea is you see the mechanical attribution of a noun to every ver every verb that's claimed, but then you start recognizing, yeah, there's a noun implied, but I'm not the noun being implied. And actually, there is no noun, period. Yeah? And then something occurs, and now you see you more as an activity than as a historical fact. Yeah? Yeah. And that, for me, is the freedom from the bondage of self. There may be bondage and there's may be free, but there's not going to be a self that's bound or a self that's going to be free. It's the bondage of self. It's something other than there's a self that's bound and the self is going to be free. 
there is no long-lasting independent separate entity in an absolute sense yeah so we're trying to get out of something that we're not in that's truly why it doesn't work yeah you're trying to get out of something that you're not in see the assumption is i'm definitely in here now give me a methodology to get out of here and then when the methodologies fail usually the guilt is turned on the practitioner and now you think you're a terrible buddhist or you're not a good meditator or you should have kissed that foot of the guru a little longer or whatever or in this case you should have donated a lot more which may actually get you closer to paul it may i'd give it a good shot so this whole idea is just seeing which is our innate quality we're not asking for anything else. We're just seeing what's happening. Yeah. And instead of allowing what's happening to be claimed and used to imply that you already are that. Yeah. You see the claiming of what's happening and the product doesn't get sold. Yeah. You don't buy the product anymore. Yeah. So there's selfing but there's no self instead of there's a self that's selfing. <laughs> when you don't see the selfing, there's a self. And when you see the selfing, it's obviously there is no self. Yeah, truly. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you.